on the right you see my 10 week old Renaissance Bulldog Ogren. On the left you see my 10 week old Lycan Shepherd Ulu. They're both uh, snacking on a couple of fully frozen tilapia. I like to feed my dogs what's called the BARF diet, which is an acronym for Biologically Appropriate Raw Foods. The diet created by a Dr. Ian Billinghurst. He wrote a couple of really good books on the subject. Give your dog a bone and uh, grow your pups with bones. I'll leave a couple links in the uh, video description if you want to learn more about those books i highly recommend them i learned a lot from them about uh, feeding raw i always recommend that you uh, freeze your meat before you feed it to your dogs especially fish fish should be fully frozen for a period of seven days or so before it's fed to your dogs to kill any potential parasites Now there'll be people who will ask me in the comments and say, hey, I thought uh, bones were bad for your dogs. It's only cooked bones. Cooking the bone changes the consistency of the bone, makes it indigestible to the dogs, prone to causing bowel obstructions and perforations in the bowel. Canines are designed to process and eat raw meaty bones. They've been doing it for millions of years of evolution. Dogs basically need three things. They need protein, fat, and bone. They don't need carbohydrates. So a lot of the uh, grains and carbs that they put in these uh, commercial dog foods are what uh, cause a lot of allergies in modern canines today and give them a lot of digestive problems. I like to feed the uh, meat to my dogs often, still in its frozen state. One of the reasons I like doing that is it slows your dog down and causes them to have to chew it up a little more before uh, swallowing it. <laughs> you tell him, Ulu. Another thing I like to do when I'm feeding my dogs, especially when feeding them raw, is I like to pet them, put my hand by their mouth, stuff like that, and just get them accustomed to being touched. See my hand, I like to rub by your mouth or head. That way they learn you're not challenging them for their food, and you don't end up uh, getting things like food aggression. Now you'll see she'll growl at him if he gets too close to her food, but she doesn't she doesn't act that way to me, and that's uh, again part of that is because I've been touching them and handling them while they're feeding. Ever since they were old enough to eat. Uh, if you look, I have my German Shepherd Lobo in here. He's eating his tilapia. Kurgan is eating his in the house. Inside a large crate. It's 
It's meal time for everybody. And you can even see at 10 weeks, they're both able to uh, eat and process this fully frozen tilapia. Yeah, they've been learning how to uh, eat and process raw bones since they were, well, her since she was four weeks old and Ogren since he was five weeks. Again, canines only need protein, fat, and bone. They don't need carbohydrates. shooting into the sun. So this is what happens when you feed your puppies raw fish. She pretty. I love her structure. She's built nice and solid, just like her dad. I like feeding whole fish like this because they get the benefit of uh, the organs, the bone, and the, the muscle. All in one package, along with brains, etc. Plus, they get the benefit of all that fish oil. usually get a pretty good deal on uh, bulk tilapia.
Now my dogs don't live in the kennels for any who might ask. There's always someone. They live in the house. The kennels are used uh, merely to separate when I'm feeding them. The dog house is required by law under state statute 343.40. Isn't he beautiful? Now that he's gotten to be three, he's really filling out. A piece of water going underneath the pallet there that they were eating earlier today. Boy, she reminds me of her daddy as a puppy. Well, it's gotten to be kind of long. I'm going to end this mukbang video here. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that little notification bell next to the subscribe button, and you'll get emails when my new videos come out. That's all, folks. Bye. Bye from Miss Ulu. Bye from Mr. Ogren. Bye from Mr. Lobo.